we are not allowed persistent bad news. And why is that? It's because the world is hyper leveraged. And if you allow the value of the collateral, which are the assets, to fall, then leverage becomes unserviceable. So that's the general rule of thumb. So what happens if economic growth gets weak and assets start falling? These are the fixed assets that you use as collateral. That's real estate, equities, bonds, stuff like that. The moment any of those start moving, the Federal Reserve stimulate yeah. or stop it because it can't be allowed. So you get this weird world where we just had the shortest recession in all recorded history, which happened to be the biggest recession in all recorded history, because they stopped it by throwing money at it. And throwing money at it, I believe, value, devalues the denominator, which is the price of fiat money or the value of the purchasing power of fiat money against these assets. Um, so that means optically no assets ever go down, like the Venezuelan stock market never goes down. I know that sounds extreme and I'm not trying to sound, oh my God, it's hyperinflation. I'm just trying to explain the metrics of how this is working. But they even stopped the economy because they gave direct cash handouts. So obviously you can get around it because if you put direct cash into the economy and force people to spend it, then it comes out the other side and the economy is kind of protected. So, you know, we, we crossed the Rubicon. We crossed the Rubicon in 2008 and we crossed a different Rubicon uh, in 2020. And I, I, we're never going back. And so recessions are not allowed, whatever that means. And asset prices are not allowed to fall, either of any magnitude, let's call it 15%, or for any duration. So it can't go down and stay down because it's not allowed any longer because the system can't take with, take it. Because the whole, even the uh, Julian Brigden keeps pointing out, the unemployment numbers um, basically mirror the S&P 500. Yeah. So therefore, if the S&P 500 goes down, people get laid off. This is the mess we're in. This is what is a hyper-financialized economy. Um, yeah. And we can trade it in our favor. If you know this, then why own the puts? I keep saying this, is the Fed bought the puts for you and given them to you for free. So what you always want to do in any sell-off is buy the calls. It's like nothing will last long because the Fed will not allow it to. So you've got, you're armed with a one-sided market which is fascinating. You, know, you can make money from it. And then if you choose the right asset classes within that one-sided market, be it technology, kind of exponential age stocks or crypto, you can do very well.